Good morning guys, we're out here doing yard selling, one of the biggest yard sales here in California. It's really huge, it's already like, we got here at 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. I say, um, because you gotta get here early to get parking. And we did really well, we bought mostly of all the games out here. Um, and we found some, We bought. I bought out someone's pop collection out here at someone's house for a great, great price. So yeah, there's yard sales, there's people looking to look, you know, out here looking for deals, really good deals out here actually. So we didn't go to the flea market, but this ended up out, turning out really great actually. So I usually never do yard sales, but I just had to take a test and it went really well. The prices were killer for the stuff out here, guys. So I can't wait to show you guys in a bit. My wife came with me, Kenneth is here. What's up? Whew. We went out crazy. Oh, it's open, what the hell? I just saw it open. Dope, all right. So now we're gonna fill up the truck. I have some guy that has like a whole bunch of Nintendo Power Magazine. They got them for a dollar a piece. I mean, a dollar a piece. I got for $5 for three boxes full of Nintendo Power, N64, you know, Game Pro, all this kind of crazy stuff for a great price. So can I show you guys that as well? David, see you All right, guys. Sorry, I didn't get any footage, but I just bought this set. Uh, I spent 90 bucks. Really good, actually. We had a brand new. I mean, it's ripped. He had a he had a Turbo Graphics last week. We guess we missed out on it. Uh, I wasn't here last week, so he said he sold it uh, with a, with the game and a loose one and a boxed one. So that's crazy. But I got the Turbo Stick for 40, which I thought was really fucking awesome. Brand new in the box. And I got this really rare drum set uh, for 50. This is like you know from 400, 450 to 500. So awesome find there. So awesome, dude. Good score. Oh, which one are you? No, huh. I which one's in here. Pokemon White. Oh, which one's in your hand? Oh, thank you so much, dude. You're awesome. No, you want like 10, but I would get $3. Las carnitas. Is it expensive? Uh, yeah. It depends sometimes. Okay. All right, how much are you thinking? 10 bucks for both. Fuck, he's yeah. alive. No? Hell yeah, we'll see right now. Really? Is that say like 15, 20 watt? Oh, look what I got. I want to see what you got. You were like, dude, we found some GameCube stuff. But I wish you went down, down. This chinito had like a whole bunch of Japanese stuff. The Last of Us? Yeah. For, nice. Wait, for 15? 15? No, 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 no. For these two games, 15. Oh, that hurts. How? It's all. Oh. This is all. This the más son, ya. Y por estos dos, 15. Falta uno. Este de Mario. Por estos dos, 15. 15. And I got the diamond. Robin. And Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yeah, Wolfenstein. And then... Nah, oh, that's gay. No, got the throttle. The London. How much? Five each? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw those over there. How much? You got them for? I got them for five. Well, I got them for seven with these two games. For those two for five. So, I mean, like, might as well just get a second game. So, up and you gonna get them? Yeah. Are you gonna get them all? No, just this. How much is the Mario? The Mario? The Mario 7. Hace 5 para que se haga 20. No puedo. Es que salen caros. No puedo agarrar. Tal vez me has preguntado y está bien duro agarrar. Sí, eso es. Skip the controllers. What the hell do you know that was a Super Smash one? Ten each, guys. Score there. Score four. Mm. The expansion pack. That Nintendo Power stuff too. What is this? Nothing in it. What is that? Final Fantasy for the Wii? Yeah. Like is that worth anything? Worth them? Hmm. Uh, how much the whole system again? Uh, how much the whole system again? Huh? Have you have a game to it? Oh, it's the one that's missing. 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 Oh, it's the one that's missing.
This one? This one in here? This one here? Uh, no power. Yeah, it's just like this. Oh, $45. Well, why? I'm not wearing it. Let me see this one. Oh, this one. Wait, this one is. I'll do the 45 for the yeah. games. Uh, I'll set together. I'll, I'll buy it. Huh? I'll get the I'll get the console. Okay. Got more game? Wait, wait, I think I got more game. Yeah? Oh, oh okay. If more game, the price go up, okay? That's good. That's fine. I, I got more game too. Hold on, hold on. Gracias. <laughs> What's up guys, so we just missed a whole bunch of sealed games. These are like some of the leftovers. I think we're the last picks. <laughs> this is hilarious. But they left all these. Sealed. Sealed the uh, Game Boy games. Sealed this. Yars, Revenge, Sealed. We'll use 10 each sealed. Crazy. I don't think I want to spend too much though. 10 bucks a piece is a lot of money. <laughs> Whew, this is a good one to get for sure. The box is beat. It is like warped. <laughs> That's how I'm going to get super uncommon. No, pues es que éramos en aquellos tiempos que no, no había luz, ni, ni, ni flat screen. Damn. All right, guys, so we're going through the, some of the newer Nintendo power. We got March 64. We got a fucking pack full of manuals for games for the N64. It's pretty much for free. Uh, we still have another box. Hopefully, those have manuals too. But let's see what we got in here. This is PlayStation. Oh, Super Metroid. Oh, nice. Hopefully, there's some good ones in here. F Zero. Oh, Battle Dose Double Dragon. Nice. Just throw them on the side. Donkey Kong. Oh, this guy's fucking awesome. Hopefully, there's some good games, like some rare ones. But I doubt it. Oh, there's a go. That was a gun coming. For the NES? Oh, Super Nintendo. Damn. Donkey Kong Country. Zelda. Nice. Zelda. Secret of Evermore. Nice. Ooh, Bomberman 2. Nice. Boogerman, X-Men, Play Fighter, Doom, Zelda. Sweet. Quake, come on, give me like the really nice Bomberman, the Star Fox. Oh, you want some bullies from the lady? No. Yeah, nice. Badger Gazooie. Vigilante, Resident Evil, Space Racer, Wave Race. So I didn't have like any of the Mario ones. Mm -hmm. Another Zelda. Wait, where's all those yeah, good games? There you go, 64. Nice, Donkey Kong Country. It's missing the front. It's missing the front. Still, I mean, Seven. nice magic. Sweet. Let's see what else we get from in here, guys. Fun games. Huh? Yeah. So you should do 20 for both. I doubt it. Let me try to pick up Mario Kart for 15 though, it's pretty high. 
trade in? What is it trade in for? Really? That's pretty bad. Mm. Son 10 y 15, no puede ser 20? No. 15 y 15. Dijo 10 y 15. Oh, ya. 10 y 15. Vamos a llevar uno pues. I guess I'm just taking Turok for you guys. Okay, guys, Nintendo Switch. I mean Nintendo Switch. A Wii U. Um, so we'll see how this works out. I'm sure it has all the cables, has everything looks like. Alright, we'll take a chance on it. Guys, this morning. What the heck? Look at this. Look at this madness. They're freaking clean. They're three oh, each. Know. Sacrifice. So this one goes for like, what? 10 bucks, 15? Not bad. Now, guys, we guys did not notice this game has dropped, jumped a lot in price, surprisingly. I used to do this all the time. Now you just. Now you know you guys gotta pick it up. <laughs> like. Yeah. Don't pass up on this. These are really pretty much the coolest figures if you guys have never seen these. I didn't know them naked them like in these kind of plastics. I thought they were always like in these kind of boxes, but this is like I think this is like the sickest Freddy Cooler figure exclusive. I think that's what's worth so more is exclusive. On Elm Street. What the fuck? It turns like it's like this creature vampire. And why I also watched it when I was a kid. So yeah, this is this morning's Finds. Oh, I still have to go get uh, Sammy's. This is crazy, guys. How, how do you find this for three dollars? Like, how does that even happen? But it happens. Have you ever played these? At all? They released them on the PS4. Oh, okay. There's no need for that then. Epic pickup went to a new flea market and it was killer. Um, this might be in my new hotspot to be honest. I mean, I never found this much good stuff in one day in a few hours. It was totally worth it. That's funny because I went to the clinic to take my mom and I went to this new flea market close by to it and this happened. And we all went as a group. We all like, hey, you guys want to head out to this new flea market? And we tried it out and we found some stuff that I've never found. Um, and I can't want to show you guys. So let's get started. First off, I did just receive my Godzilla Shogun Warrior Jumbo Godzilla, which is really cool. I got this for a super killer deal, um, under $200. It was on sale, and I bought the last one, so that was cool. On this Shogun Warrior Godzilla, that was one of the best ones. They usually still retail for like $300, $400 still. Um, so I think I got it for like $167 shipped to me, so that was really awesome. I bought it in 64 We got it for $60. Bucks. Uh, my friend picked this up. It was a pretty big lot. Um, we were all there, but um, really actually not a bad lot for that price with an expansion pack complete with two controllers. Great price. Uh, two, uh, 3DS for 20 which not a bad price as well. Um, and then this huge sealed. They were 10 bucks a piece, but worked out a deal. The games were 5 of each. They were sealed in like little plastics, but for 5 bucks a piece, I had, had to grab them. Uh, and these are just the leftovers, guys. I mean, I don't know what else I picked up. I did find this really rare game. Um, the King of Fighters X2. So it was sealed, but it was crushed. It's still in the original sealed package. But um, very rare game to get. Um, I picked these up as well. I mean, for 10 bucks a piece, it's not bad. Especially because they're sealed. Um, this one's an uh, uncommon game as well. Time Commando, sealed. 
uh, Fighting Force Seal. We did see the two, but we didn't get it. We got Mega Man X5 for five. Uh, Seal Dragon Ball Z Ultra 22 sealed for five as well. Uh, so yeah, this actually never happens, but this guy had like the storage full of um, sealed games, and I mean they found some really rare games. I think the really rare ones were something international soccer for the N64, if both sealed. They usually range over six hundred dollars, from what I was hearing. Um, and some other guy, another reseller that has a game booth picked up, I think about a hundred dollars worth of games, or actually the good common games like Donkey Kong, Mario Party, like Game Boy, Open Box, but some decent stuff. So we still looked around. We still got all this stuff for a great price. I couldn't let it go. I mean, for these prices sealed, that's totally worth it. Um, this is a very uncommon game. You don't see this one on eBay often. Family Dog. Um, it's like a rental too. Um, but you don't see this at all. So it's like a pretty hard one, but, um, to get to, uh, to the collection. So I picked it up for someone that might need this for their collection box. So I'll totally sell that. Um, we did pick up a Sega Saturn complete with wires and everything with this really cool, uh, 3D controller, um, for 30. And then we got the turbo graphics. It was missing the wires. We did pay 50 for this, but still, I mean, I just never see it. And the cables are really cheap online. So I had to pick this up very great. So it's still a great price to pick up VX find them. Um, I did pick this up. I picked up some figures. Uh, my probably my favorite find of the day was this Voltron for twenty bucks complete, uh, which is really cool. So happy to find that. And I found this really awesome Voltron camera, which is very rare and uncommon actually. Um, it is missing the scope, but it's a very uncommon figure. This a uh, pretty awesome one as well. I paid thirty bucks for the whole lot, uh, which all the G wants um, in there. And there's a Devastator KO. And then we have the um, Rodimus Prime vehicle, but I do have the vehicle, but I picked this up out of that, so that was cool. And then we have um, Optimus Prime's brother, which I, t I totally forgot his name. Um, it's not, I can't remember what it's called. I have like a top of my tongue, uh, but it wasn't, the vehicle wasn't there, so at least the figure was there. It's missing his fist, so, but still awesome to find with that. And then we got these team ants for 20 bucks. Uh, as a lot, and then I picked up the other ones for five each, which were I think this one and and I think it was He Man um, for five each, and the rest were twenty with the vehicles. So that was cool with the little comic, I guess you can say. So that's everything, guys. So really cool find. Oh, my favorite find! I've for three years I finally found my first Super Mario Two beer mug. I mean, I've been looking for this for years. And it's funny, I find a funny story of how I found it. So paid five bucks for that. That was my best find of the day. And there you guys go. So thanks for watching, guys. I did get the Super Nintendo for 20. Um, just missing the power cable. So that was pretty cool. And that was it, guys. And Turok 3, I forgot, for 10. Um, so not a bad price. Still decent, but it's not that bad at all. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you guys on the next pickup, or this is the, the end of the pickup. what is up guys good morning this is our morning pickup crazy insane yard sale finds um I'm gonna try to make this quick as possible guys because we have to jam out to our new location that we're setting up at a booth and we have to we already priced some of these things for retro respect which is um tomorrow um so a lot of good stuff that we picked up uh for really good prices i'm talking about like under five dollars i'm talking about a dollar two dollars three dollars five dollars on items um, some really cool stuff guys and I uh, got to show you guys. It's really cool So I picked up this really big pop collection of a guy that was just didn't want to do it no more um, He's been collecting I think for a few years uh, Bought everything for 300 bucks. I thought it was a really good deal pretty much under three dollars. I think there's over 80 um, Plus of pop figures and some little small exclusives. So I thought it was a really good price um, Then we picked up all these games really cheap i already priced some of them as we go and then i just got all this stuff um you know these were a dollar a piece which is really cheap you know sealed um but nothing crazy but really good games for a buck a piece i thought that was really cool um we picked up all these xbox i'm actually missing the xbox pins they're actually really badass i think they're inside my bag one of my other bags um you know you don't find those anymore so we got all these other stuff you know these a few bucks a piece. We have some really good games here, guys. Really super excited. I picked up this for five. That was really cool. So like I said, a lot of pop. Not a lot of um, figures. The only one I did find was this, which that was really cool. 
very uncommon figure. You don't see that very often. Um, this one as well. You saw this Treadmaster figure or movable figure. So I'm just excited I'm making it quick for you guys. Sega Saturn, that was really cool. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys at the event. What's up guys? So this is the last pickup for this week. Really cool pickup. Um, I did separate the games. I was about to put it away. So I'm gonna do, do a really quick recap. So let's get started. Uh, I'll start with the Kirby. Kenneth picked it up for five bucks, right? Five, uh, yeah. Awesome little pickup there for this plush Kirby. Picked up this Hot Wheel Redline um, lunchbox from the 60s, 70s, I think it was, for eight. Picked up this really cool uh, Power Ranger alarm clock. And then we got this really awesome turbo stick for 40 bucks, brand new in the box. Never been used with everything. It does have a turn the other side. Um, I just don't want to turn it around. Um, then we got this really rare collector's Zelda action figures that was sold at Target exclusive. So this is actually really rare. You can look that up. Um, if you guys don't believe me, uh, but it comes with all these figures and it came with this really cool coupon off $10 off the Ocarina of Time gold cart. So really cool exclusive figures. And then we picked up Lady Death and put to <laughs> Purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bookends really cool. I paid five bucks for that. If you guys, it's crazy, but it, the guy only wanted five bucks. It's still brand new in the box. I'm not sure if it's broken. We didn't open it. I just like gave him the five bucks and left. So I hope it's all in there and not broken. Um, we did pick up a Goku figure with uh, re detachable heads uh, for five bucks from Bandai. Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 1, 2. Regular Goku, really cool. Picked up a Jurassic Park figure for two. That was kind of cool. This is probably the best uh, little mini score here. Uh, 10 bucks for a 3000 model PSP clean. It's a very mint PSP. With charger and everything, I have that on the side. Um, then I got some real steel figures for five or both. That was cool. And then the games, I got two for five on all these games actually. So really cool. Um, Could have passed them up. I mean, they were a great price. Um, and I'm always getting asked for like Grand Theft Auto games. And of course, if you guys never seen this movie, really good movie, Spirit Away. And then uh, Vanguard for the PlayStation 1. Very nice find there. And then GameCube controllers, 10 bucks a piece. That was a really good uh, pickup. Mint, uh, especially the Super Smash one. It's an awesome pickup. Now the best pickup for me, I mean, did pick up uh, Pee, -wee, uh, Pee Wee Herman for six. And probably the rarest find of the day, which I, I found two rare things, which is the Zelda figures and this uh, Drum Mania um, PS2 Japanese um, drummer kit. So that's a really rare. It's, uh, they ran out of print. They go for over four or $500. I paid 50 bucks for that, brand new in the box. It was missing the game, though, but it was still brand new sealed in the box. So crazy pickup here. I uh, couldn't believe that I saw that, and it was 50 bucks. So awesome find there. And there you guys go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the awesome video. I'll see you guys next time.